Where on earth is this water coming from? Over here. And over here. We'll have to find out. Welcome back to Fab Auto Mode Detailing. Um, I'm sitting here editing this video and realized I did not make a, an intro video, which is great because I need to explain a few things because I've got the memory card on here and I'm watching the videos. I'm not real happy with it. I haven't been really happy with my GoPro since I got it. I bought the GoPro Hero 2018, which was obviously a mistake, so I'm going to sell it and buy something else. One of the newer ones, uh, the black or something like that, uh, Hero 7 black. But anyways, um, I wanted to tell you guys that I'm sorry for the shakiness of this video. I am sorry for, I think you're hearing the stabilizer inside the camera rattling around, I'm not sure. This video was not planned. I thought, well, I'll just use the GoPro because I'm gonna be inside the car and they can get a good view. And it does give you some really good views, but when it's in my hand, I'm trying to show you guys stuff. It's kind of shaky. I do apologize for that. Please accept my apology on that. I, I try to do the best camera work possible when I do my videos. And this is definitely not my best camera work ever. But this video, I wanted, to got, I wanted to bring you guys along to show you how I would normally try to figure out a water leak on a car. Um, and this is the best way that I could show you how to do it. I had the opportunity to make a video and I have no video to put out for today, which will be Wednesday. And uh, this way I can get a video put out and you guys can see how I you know, check out water leaks and stuff like that. And plus there's a stain in the seat that I got to get out and I'll show you how I get the stain out on that. So I hope you guys enjoy the video and let's do it. I got in the Jeep the other day. Um, I actually just went to move it. I noticed that her driver's seat was wet. It had stains in it. And I asked her if she spilled something. She said, no, I didn't spill anything. So I was like, okay, I don't know what it is. Water, I guess. I wasn't sure because we had a lot of snow here. Didn't know if maybe she got water on her pants and made a stain the seat. I'm gonna show you guys the stain right now. See that? Well, when, she, when she's driving, this seat sits pretty far forward. Yeah, it's filthy in here. We've had a lot of snow. Um, and salt and everything. Um, the seat's forward. Well, it's dripping right out of here. I'm trying to, I hope I got enough light in here. I'm gonna take it like right out of these caps. You see where the water is right there? And then it's dripping down onto here and then it drips down on the floor. So what I'm thinking it is, we're gonna do exploratory here. I'm thinking a sunroof drains are either frozen, blocked or something like that because we got snow last night and when we left church it was starting to melt and there was ice right up here right along here so i'm thinking because there's a drain here and there's a drain right here in the corner and what those drains do there's just a little rubber hose that goes all the way down your a pillar all the way down your a pillar on the inside of your a pillar and then it ends up draining out right down here yeah see this i mean ice and uh, the Jeep is absolutely filthy, but we're supposed to be getting more snow and really low temperature this week So it's not getting washed, but So yeah, see it's going right down the glove box everything So I'm gonna try to set the camera up so you guys can see me take this one apart What we gotta do first is we have to take these little covers off. There's gonna be two bolts behind there I'm not sure what they are yet torques or anything like that um, We will find that out here in just a few minutes, but I'm gonna set the camera down really quick turn it off um, I'm gonna go ahead and remove these at least one so I can figure out what the bolt is So I'm not walking back and forth to my toolbox constantly in this video. So I'll set the camera up. We'll get started so I'm gonna do my best to not block the light. What I'm using is my Sabre Under hood LED light just so you guys can see I'm gonna try to do my best not to block it, but I'm gonna also try my best not to knock you guys off the dashboard. I get you where you're not gonna fall here really quick. Hang on Right there. That'll work. So as you can see I took I took this one. It does have a little uh, I don't know what you want to call that, but it keeps it from falling out or you losing it. These are 10 millimeter bolts. Now I don't have any of my um, non-marring dash tools here at home. So I'm using just a flat, a flathead tech, tech driver. And I'm just getting up right behind it. Push up and then pull down. You don't, oh man, I don't know if you guys saw the water come pouring out of there. Um, there is water all over this thing. We're gonna use my trusted Ryobi. There's one bolt, as you can see, how long it is. There's a second bolt. 
and both bolts are the same size so you can't mess them up now this should just pop down yep it does let me show you guys this see the water in there look how much water is inside that thing a lot i'm gonna have to dry that off really good in fact there's a a little whirly gig in there there's a bunch of junk inside there and see that's towards the top so that means i need to get a light i'm sorry i'm not prepared i just don't know what i'm going to need to take this part never taken one of these apart on one of these cars before i really hope i don't have to take anything else off like the headliner or anything like that let's see i'm not seeing anything though right now the seal is good there's no water in the seal whatsoever the windshield does not appear to be leaking man you gotta really get yourself around these things hmm whale what the heck's going on here I'm not seeing anything at all or for a reason for there to be debris inside I know you guys may not be getting a good view right now but just bear with me let's see I am not seeing anything at all um, what am I have to do is I'm gonna get the keys I'm gonna open the sunroof up so let me do that really quick I'll just leave the camera on what the heck I can edit it out if I need to I still have a feeling that it's the drain. And if it is, I'll show you guys how to clean it. So we're gonna open up the sunroof. We're gonna look at these drains. Okay. So your drains, See if I can get you guys a good view. Uh, let me get a different light. Like I said, this wasn't planned. You guys see that hole right down there? Where my light's on it? That's your sunroof drain. And it does not look like it's blocked at all. This hose right here is the sunroof drain. There's probably just a little rubber hose inside of it. Let me see if I can pull it off for you guys. No, I can't. But that is the center of drain right here. But what's weird though is I'm not seeing that that line is wet anywhere. That is so strange. This video is not turning out too good. See that drain over there is not clogged either. I don't know if you guys can see that or not. The tracks are really dirty, but I do not see a reason for this water to be getting in here anywhere. Well, yeah, that's a bummer. I'm gonna pull this headliner down just a little bit. I'm trying to do this with the camera in my hand. Sorry guys, how about that? The headliner is not wet whatsoever. I have a feeling that there was ice built up in here and it just went over the top of that ridge right there. Let's see if I can put my light on the ridge. Right up in there. Because other than that, is that right here, here's your wiring. This right here is the wiring for the motor. Wow, this is kind of a bummer because I don't see what it is. Let me take the other side apart real quick and we'll see what that looks like.
Now this side does not have nearly as much water in it as the other side did, just a little bit. So here's the center of drain on this side, right here. This is your power wire, right here, for the sunroof. Okay, so I just felt water right here with that light. Oops, <laughs> scared the crap out of me. Let's see. Well, see, it feels a little bit damp right there. I don't know. I don't see any water in the seal at all. Let's get up here on this side and just take a look. You can see where it's been wet. Okay, well, I don't see anything at all that would cause us to have a leak inside, but it obviously does. So, I have a feeling the drains are backed up. So what we're gonna do, I'm gonna show you how I do it. Let me, uh, oh yeah, let me turn these lights on. Put lights underneath my camera, so. Lights everything up really good. Um, let me set the camera down. I gotta turn my compressor on and I'll show you guys how to clean the drains. Okay, so what, what I'm gonna use is my blow gun. It's got a little rubber tip on the end of it. I'm gonna try to find a way to set you guys up. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put that rubber tip in that hole. Let's see what you guys are seeing here. Really quick. Yeah, that's good enough. And what you don't wanna do is you don't wanna put all of your air pressure into there and blow that hose off. So I'm just gonna stick this down in there. It's gonna plug the front of that hole. Oh, it's backed up because the air is not wanting to go through. Okay, it's going now. Okay, Let's see if that blew any water out of here. I do not feel anything. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go get a cup of water really quick. All right, about there. I'll be right back. When I pour this cup of water down, you guys should see it drain out down here somewhere. I'm gonna pour it right, right in that hole. That drain is now open. Now what I want to do to test my theory is I'm going to put water down the other side. So let me get the camera set up. All right, so here we go. I'm going to pour it on the driver's side. I did not blow air through this side. I want to see if water comes out. Got to get up here first. Okay, water is in. It is coming out here too. So, not sure why it's leaking. Dang it. Okay, so here's my theory. I think what happened was the drain got frozen because it has been extremely cold here and it's gonna be even colder this week. Um, the car has not been inside. It hasn't had a chance to thaw at all. I think that it, it froze up. The tube froze up inside and then the water backed up and went over that ridge because I, I pulled the, as you guys see, the visor down. I can pull this down really far now and I can see up in there. I can't really show you guys without a light, but I can see up in there really, really good. Let me just do this really quick. I can see where the hose goes and nothing, the headliner, nothing is wet. And where the water's coming out of, whoa. Where the water's coming out of is this bolt right here. So, and this bolt right here. So I think the water about had to be coming, it was coming down here and then going into that bolt and then going into that bolt, if that makes sense. 
and I just broke my phone case. Dang it. Um, that's what I'm thinking. So I'm gonna put it back together now that I've, I know the drains are clear and I'm going to get the stain out of that seat and I'm gonna show you guys how I do that. Okay, so as you guys can see, this stain, it's just a water stain, but this gray interior, man, you guys saw the seats before and you guys know exactly what I'm talking about. And what I'm gonna use is Adams Polishes Carpet and Upholstery Cleaner. I'm just going to spray it liberally onto this stain. That stuff has no smell whatsoever. I'm just gonna agitate it. It doesn't foam up or nothing. And these seats are pretty beat up to begin with. If you guys saw my videos of where we basically rebuilt this Jeep for the most part or restored it, go back, check out the Jeep videos where I clean the interior and you will know exactly what I'm talking about. These seats were terrible. That's pretty much it. When it's dry, I will turn the camera back on. But actually, hang on, let me get, there's some spots right here I need to get. I'll turn the camera back on and show you guys what it looks like dry. Once it's completely dry. Yep, that's it right there. We're gonna let it dry up. Okay, so the seat is dry. I mean, it's not in the greatest shape. You guys know that because of when I redid the Jeep, but the seat is dry. The stain that was there is gone. I love Adam's Carpet Upholster Cleaner. That is an amazing, amazing product. Highly recommend that to anybody that has stains on their seats or carpet or anything like that. So I really do believe, I'm not 100% on this, but I really do believe that what happened was the drains got clogged it backed the water up. We had we had tons of snow sitting on this this morning. And it backed it up and that water just went right over the top of it. And that's what filled this up cuz I don't see any traces of water anywhere else. So that's had to be had to be what it is. Um if it's not, I'll give you guys an update and let you know. But that's what I truly believe. This thing you guys saw me when I cleaned it. I can't wait for spring to come and give it another good cleaning again. But she does drive it daily. Look at her mat over here. Dash and everything still looks pretty good. But uh, it definitely needs a good spring cleaning. I want to wash it, but it's supposed to rain and snow this week. Look at this. Yep, the wheels are filthy. But hey, it's winter in Indiana. That's pretty much normal. So, hey, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I know that it didn't end up showing you exactly what's leaking. I'm pretty sure I know what it is. You know, being a mechanic, I do this, all, this type of stuff all the time. But... I wanted to at least bring you guys along as I took that apart to look and try to figure out what's going on with it. And if you didn't know how to clean your sunroof drains, at least now you know how to. It's not difficult. Just make sure you don't blow so much air in there that you force the hose off of it because then you have to take your headliner down to be able to get the hose back on. So you don't want to put too much air, but you want to get enough air. And all um, sunroof drains drain right there behind the front tire. So you guys will know if you dump water in there, you should see water coming out from right down there like you guys saw in the video. So I hope this video was helpful to somebody, at least one person hopefully it was helpful for. If you guys have had this problem with your Jeep, please let me know. This is a Jeep Grand Cherokee 2006. Let me know what it was, if it was your son of drain or if it was something else. Um, because I'd really like to know and make sure I get it because I really don't want a bunch of water getting in the car and mildewing, molding in the, in the summertime. But my wife says that anytime it rains really hard, anything like that, or when I wash the car, I've never seen water come in there. So that's the only thing that I could think that it'd be is that it built up on there, went over the edge, got down in there and the water came down. Like I said, I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, give me a thumbs up, hit that subscribe button while you're down there, hit that little bell. So every time I upload a video, you get notified and we will see you guys next time.